All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So I actually just did a video on the Jets and the Eagles joint practice. Hopefully that video is up pretty soon, depending on how the internet's acting today. Uh, but regardless, it should be up within the next hour, hour or two. But really unfortunate news here. Really scary situation. Defensive end Vinnie Curry, who was brought in by the Jets on a one-year contract this offseason, has been ruled out for the entire year. Now, this news broke yesterday, but it was kind of weird because it came out of nowhere. Nobody really knew why. Nobody had an explanation. But now we know why. Vinnie Curry was diagnosed with some sort of rare blood disease. And, uh, you know, I mean, the first thing that the first thing that pops into my mind is just Vinnie Curry's health moving forward. I mean, he just, just as football aside, as a person, you want him to be okay, you know, and he's a veteran in this league. He's, you know, he's had an ultra productive career. He's, he's been around the league for a long, long time, mostly with Philadelphia. Uh, he's been a great player and, you know, you never want to see a guy's career get sh uh, cut short or anything like that. And by the way, I'll try to, so Curry actually uh, released this little uh, statement about like what's currently going on, what he's currently dealing with. And uh, I'll link that down below in the uh, description box. I think the Jets Twitter actually put it out as well. But I mean, it's a, it's a super scary situation. It's really unfortunate. And I mean, I, I'm wishing, I, I'm wishing Vinny the best moving forward. I, I just don't, I mean, whenever you have like a condition like this, I don't really know what the future holds as far as, you know, him continuing to play. But uh, I mean, based off of what he was saying in his statement, it's, it's uh, it, it's not something that you you just take lightly and just, oh, yeah, no big deal. I'll be back next week. No, not like that at all, at all. I mean, like I said, he's going to be out for the entire season. So I, I'm, I have my fingers crossed. Everything's okay with Vinny moving forward. But as far as the Jets' outlook at the defensive end position is concerned, I mean, we're now down Carl Lawson, Vinny Curry. We're already missing Gerard Davis, the Marcus Joyner shirt, uh, hurt as well. We're down a lot of players here. We are down a lot of players. And, you know, I talked about that a lot at the start of that, um, you know, about the video that should be up later with the joint practices. Like we're, we're just, we're down. We have so many guys down for injuries or down from injuries that it's insane. And of course, you know, we have the, uh, the Adam Schefter report saying that the Jets, you know, could possibly uh, be in the market to add some talent to that room. This defense is heavily reliant on getting after the passer, bringing quarterbacks down. If you cannot get after the quarterback in this defense, they will pick you apart. They'll stand back there and just shred you. So, I mean, it's imperative. It is imperative that we get guys in the building that can rush the passer. Now, I really like Bryce Huff. He's put together an, an, an awesome training camp, an awesome preseason so far. I still like John Franklin Myers' potential in this defense. Um, I, I'm looking at other guys, you know, other free agents. You know, we have, I mean, there's tons of free agents, actually. Dion Jordan is, is, is a possibility. Ezekiel Lanza, Olivier Vernon, um, Vic Beasley, possibly. I mean, there's so many different guys at the free agent position. Um, you could just go down the list, I and mean, I feel like any one of those guys would come in and help this team. As far as trades are concerned, maybe a Derek Barnett, maybe a Josh Sweat, maybe a Dante Fowler, maybe a Chandler Jones. There's there's tons and tons and tons of names. And, um, you know, we can even look at teams that are deep at that position, like the Raiders or something like that. Maybe they, maybe they would be willing to part ways with, with uh, one of their guys that's kind of buried on the depth chart, doesn't really have a place or a role on the team. And they might, you know, want a fourth round pick. Maybe they want a wide receiver or something like that, that the Jets can do a little swap with. So who knows what's going to happen Bottom line, the point is there's a lot of guys out there that the Jets can possibly target, possibly bring in on a relatively cheap contract, unless we're talking about a uh, like a Chandler Jones or something where he's a $20 million cap hit. And then, of course, an unrestricted, uh, unrestricted free agent uh, next year. So it's kind of like a one-year rental. The Jets are a young rebuilding team. I don't really know if that's the direction that Joe Douglas wants to go in, especially because you probably have to give up a relatively high draft pick. But... Either way, I feel like the Jets need to get a little bit better here. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I really, really, really hope everything with Vinny's going to be okay moving forward. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. And as always, go Jets.